Hello cellists. This is your previews video for Gavotte by Gossick in Suzuki Book 2, and there's a lot to go over. Um, if you're not looking at scales and the technique books, I suggest that you also explore that part of, of my website and of my YouTube channel, because it really comes in handy. Most of the techniques that we're learning in the Schroeder um, will come across almost at the same time in the Suzuki books, if you're timing it right. Um, so, this number 11, Gavotte, in Suzuki Book 2, coordinates beautifully with number 11, Schroeder, um, in, in the way that I teach it, at least. And that's to, to try to get students spiccato-ing. Spiccato is a bounce stroke. It's, it's a drop stroke. Whereas staccato is from the string. Right? And so instead of grabbing the string and popping up, we come from above the string and land just basically like dribbling a basketball. <clears throat> so if you want to learn more about spiccato, I suggest you check out uh, the technique blogs from number 11. I start you out here. As we bring it in closer, we start to involve the horizontal motion. And by the time you get to the balance point of the bow, you should be in a nice controlled spiccato. It's in the fingers and wrist. You have to be flexible here and the, sh the elbow becomes a counterbalance and then we're able to do it. Now, measure 20 has a very tricky bowing and fingering. Uh, the Suzuki books ask you to do it like this. At full tempo and for a young student, uh, that might work. I think it's easier to have a shift up instead of a string crossing for one note. Uh, so I suggest you change the fingering to this. One, two, this is second position. One, two, four, and we slide back. Four, two, one, D. Instead of, which always sounds kind of obnoxious, I think. So, see if we can do this. You're gonna shift, and then back on the four, four, and that way you don't have to have a string crossing at full speed. Um, 20 times a day, 50 times a day, I don't know. You might have to start much slower than that. And then the last preview I want to introduce is the last line of the gavotte. And this has a lot of string crossings again, which with 16th notes can be uncomfortable. So, in order to get these string crossings when we do things like this, you have to have a fair amount of weight and try to keep those crossings as concise as you can. Don't make a big jump down for that low note. Um, and then we're jumping over two strings to the A and then back down. There's just a lot of acrobatics that your bow has to do. Even though there's no shifts, it's pretty hard. of those up ups is to just put your hand that much closer. If you go up, down, you gotta get back for the pizzicato. So up, up, and then just palm it. You want your thumb to be along the side of the fingerboard and then you can use your index finger. Happy practicing, Chalice.